What is up, everybody? It's Mr. Energy here. Today, we are back once again on another episode of Subnautica. Now, in the bottom left-hand corner, you can probably tell something has changed. And that is, I switched over to the developer version of, of uh, Subnautica, which is actually really, really cool. Because if I open up my inventory, everything looks different. Everything. Which is really, really awesome. Anyways, so uh, today, I wanted to uh, bring back the lockers because I keep forgetting to do it. Um, so I brought back uh, Ivo Sigwolf, who's been really active on the Subnautica videos in particular, and Matt Sherrill, as, as, uh, as he's also been very, very active on uh, the Subnautica videos, commenting pretty much only every other one about. And then we have Mario84, and I can't pronounce the last name, so I'm not going to try. It's like Shnezdik or something like that. Um, tell me if I did that wrong. But I just, I just named you Mario84, and you just said hello. With one L. <laughs> Hello, with one L. And a rewind and remix. Sad die. Uh, great video. That's all you gotta do. Get on here and uh, you can join me in my adventure. Also, I named my Seamoth. It is Fragile Phil. In case I say, uh, a. Uh, what the, what's it called? Oh, there's an animation for that. Oh, cool. Just in case a Reaper Leviathan grabs him, he's, he's a lot more fragile. Also. I named this guy Invincible, but I had to name him not Invincible because apparently he took damage. I don't know how he took damage, but now I gotta go heal him, which is great, yay. Um, also, I'm gonna look at the rest of the Cyclops in just a second here. Um, can I like, jump out of the way? Oh, I have, to, I have to bring this down. Oh, actually, wait, I think it was underneath of it, wasn't it? Oh, there it is. Repair and get this thing out of here. Alright. That is done in... I believe there's nothing going to kill me. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I went over to this area. And I wanted to see um, if I could unlock that uh, that energy crystal with a ion crystal. Which I did. And uh, I, I didn't get it recorded. I apologize for that. Um, but it, it turned on, so now I gotta see what it does. And that is a crab. Let's stay away from those. And this is the new lithium. Everything kind of changed. Sandstone. Oh, oh, silver ore. That's good. Silver is always good. But yeah. Hoorah. Let's stay away from you. I think it's up here to the left and to the right. Left, right. Okay, and we got gold. That's gold. Lithium. There's a ton of lithium here. Gold and lithium. Okay, and this thing came up. I think this is where our adventure ends, uh, begins today. So, anyways, let's go in. Um. What do I do? Hello? Oh! It's a teleporter! What ca- Wow! That's cool! Where am I at anyway? It has a bunch of fungus here. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. What's over here? Oh! Oh, I know where I am! I'm at the floating island! No way! They actually added a way for, to get from the floating island to the other island way quicker. Through a teleporter? Where's my door at? That is so cool. That, that's 2,000 meters away. Alright, now I gotta figure out how to get back. Let's see, I came from a road somewhere. Oh, here it is. Alright! Well, I'll have to remember that for next time I want to uh, go exploring. And this, and this comes out where my old base was. Man, I could have built my base here. 
and like put it up to this area and stuff. But nonetheless, whoop, a little lag there. What's over here? I didn't really click anything. Okay, so that is awesome. That was what I was seeing in the glitch. I knew I saw something weird in the glitch. It must have been this whole device. Nice. All right, in we go. Whoa. <laughs> this is really cool looking, by the way. Dang. Okay. Add that to my to-do list. Uh, if I ever want to go over there, that's how I get there. And way quicker. And also, I think my Seamoth, uh, not my Seamoth, my, well, both my Cyclops and my Seamoth are down here. Which means I probably need to, like, I probably could do a high dive. <laughs> oh, please make it. Oh. All right, sweet. And I don't see any Reaper Leviathans, and I don't really want to see any Reaper Leviathans, because if I can hurt my Cyclops, that means a Reaper Leviathan can hurt it. And that would not be good at all, whatsoever, in any way. So, that's just a few things that have changed with the developer version. Um, Basically, they just are still working on things in Welcome this version. But it looks like they have a huge update coming worth of stuff. Anywho, um, I have I got new silver. That's awesome. That's fully repaired. What do I need to do for this one? This one needs glass. I don't have glass. And I don't have anything for glass. Okay. And what is this? Fabricator. Cyclops Hall Module. Ooh, okay. Okay, and then power seems to be the same. Decoy launcher? Can I put like anything in here or not? Also, I have a propulsion cannon. I've, I don't know if I added, I showed you guys that in the last one, but I have a propulsion cannon, which is awesome. All right. Well. Nice. Man, worn out. Alright, so next. So, oh boy, don't hit that. So, today's episode is going to be me going and seeing if I can find this uh, research station that is about 1,000 meters away, 800 Morning, meters deep. Captain. That's right, and I gotta go slower. Um, well, that's really slow, isn't it? I hit slow. slow I hit stand. I hit flat. Emergency. This is, this is just odd. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. I wonder. Oh no, that's exterior. I was thinking maybe I could put like a big lamp inside of here, but I can't put any lights in here. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out where I'm going by just looking around in the dark. Actually, can I turn this on? Uh, it's low. Up, 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 up. They damaged us. Oh, I took a bunch of damage. Oh no, this is not good. Alright. I had flanked emergency speed. I had flanked and this guy. Morning, cavitating. Is not very happy with me because I'm cavitating apparently. Okay, so. Where am I at? Deep wise. 86 meters. Where do I need to be? I think it was like 800. Scans of available alien data indicate the presence of a second facility elsewhere on the planet. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information recorded to data bank. There we go. So now all I gotta do is, uh, go there. <laughs> Hopefully I can find that, but at first I need to get me some water and food in me, and then I should be good to go. Okay, so, online just simply says, go southwest. It's next to the Lost River, which I have no idea where this Lost River is. So, I'm going to do some exploring. Um, unfortunately, though, I have no idea where the Lost River is. So it's going to be kind of hard for me to find anything. But I'm going to go down as far deep as I can. 
and then I'm gonna see if I can go southwest. And maybe that'll lead to where I need to be. Oh boy. Oh boy, is, is, that, is that a Raper? Oh, but this is down. Where am I at? I'm at, I'm at 400 meters, okay. Okay, so here's the issue we're having right now. The issue we're having right now is that I have no idea where this place is. And everywhere I have found up to now has not really helped much in uh, explaining where it is. Online hasn't really given me too good of an idea yet. Um, I'm gonna see what's over here real quick and then Yeah, it looks like that was just a bump, and this is the edge of the world again. All right, so the uh, episode is kind of going to end here. It's kind of a weird ending, but I can't seem to find the research center at all. Uh, I don't know where this uh, lost river is or anything like that. Um, it's it's too lost for me, so I got to figure out where that is so that I can uh, look into uh, finding it, of course. Unless if this is something... No, this this is just a regular area um, that I need to go to at some point. So that is said and done. Um, but I'll I'll figure out where that is. I'll figure out where the uh, Lost River is, and then I'll figure out where to find this research center because I'm just having time of my life finding it. But as you guys can see, the developer version is pretty cool. Um, I still got to build that battery charger. Um, and I'm still thirsty, like, you know, always. But, that being said, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see. And we'll be back eventually um, when I figure out where that uh, lost river is and stuff so that we can actually go to the research center. I thought it would be a lot easier to find than that, but it turned out it wasn't. And, of course, I have to uh, turn off, uh, not turn off, but get rid of this damage. Uh, I'm not invincible. Anyways, see you next time. Bye-bye.